vlogmas day 20 we are at the home stretch people thank god because i am running out of ideas today we are going to be discussing books i'm going to tell you my top five books for 2016 uh yeah and i i mean i love books a lot of you guys love books i used to have this thing it was it was a book club it was amazing no i don't know i overthought that and then i want to make it more engaging more of a discussion between myself and you and not just me talking to a camera i want more i want more y'all let me know if y'all have some ideas because i really would like to start erica's book club again but still so today we're going to talk about my top five books of 2016 um, these are not necessarily books that were published or released in 2016, just books that I read in 2016 that I thought were cool. I discovered The Wonderful World of Audible this year, which is just so great for me. I just, it's the best. <laughs> Most of these books were read on Audible. The first book I want to talk about is Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. Behind Closed Doors is exactly like the title says. It's basically about this couple who to the public eye is perfect like they have this super loving relationship the husband is caring and wonderful the wife is just a delicious cook but <laughs> behind closed doors like he's basically torturing this lady and it's just awful the thriller suspenseful it it doesn't i don't want to say it moves slow but it kind of moves slow <laughs> It moves slow, but it's still really, really interesting and really like, oh my God, what's going to happen kind of book. So I definitely suggest Behind Coast Glories. If you like like suspense thrillers. The second book on my list is Sharp Objects by Gillian. I always want to say Gillian. I don't know why. Like Gil Gilligan's Island. Anyway, the second book on my list is Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. It is, uh, she is the author who wrote Gone Girl and Dark Places, which I've read both of those books and this one, it follows along the same lines. The main character is always a woman who has a lot of problems. <laughs> That's literally, literally it. She writes books about women who have a buttload of problems. So Sharp Object is about a um, lady who goes back to her hometown. She is a writer and she has to like basically she's like she's there to investigate or like do a story about um some murders of little girls that have happened in her hometown and she has to go back and like back there with her mother and her stepfather and her little sister is and like she learns a lot of things <laughs> basically had like a really horrible life and um the, uh, the horrible things are still happening in her family it's a super good book it's uh, this book is really like how do you how do you what word describes this like like oh my god what is going on here oh boy wow everybody has so many problems another book that i read this year is the shining by stephen king now that is not a new book at all i think it was written in back the, back in like the either the eight seventies or the eighties i think everybody has probably seen the shining movie which i had never seen the movie but i basically knew what it was about but i did go ahead and read the book so it's really good um so it follows a writer who moves with his family up to this hotel in the winter and he goes up to be the, ter the, the caretaker of this hotel during the winter time and to like write this, I don't know, I think he's writing a play. I don't remember, I don't, he didn't write anything. So it's, it follows them, it's Stephen King, so there's like, you know, the whole supernatural aspect, there's like ghosts and like, like the psychic abilities and just like a lot of creepy things that are happening in this hotel and it mostly just drives the dad insane and then um, all those adventures happen but then i watched the movie and the movie is while the movie is really good then they had to squeeze a lot of information into like an hour and a half it's it's different than the book obviously but like key things are different like 
people are dying in the movie that didn't die in the book. The fourth book on my list is I'm Judging You, A Do Better Manual by Lovey Ajayi. Uh, this is a really funny book. I don't know if you guys have heard of her, Lovey. I think her website is called awesomelylovey.com. She's hilarious. This book was hilarious. It's basically like all of like the do's and don'ts that she, all of her rules for life. And the last book on my top five list of books in 2016 is, what's that book? What did I want to say? So the last book on my top five of 2016 is The Girl on the Train, which I'm sure everybody has heard about and read by Paula Hawkins. Girl on the Train is a really good book. Basically, it's about a girl on a train. I don't know. She got a lot of problems too. I mean, it is my girl on the train. So this girl, this lady, she rides the train every day to her make-believe job. <laughs> she, and she's an alcoholic and she she sits on this train and she like watches this house in her old neighborhood and pretends that the couple living there has like this perfect and wonderful life. And it is the exact opposite of that. It, it's kind of slow. It starts off really slow. And you're just like following her stumble around. And then it gets really good at the end. And she does all these like really bad. She makes all these terrible choices. The girl. I don't even remember what her name was. But that girl on that train. She was just like foolish. It's another suspense thriller murder mystery type book. I guess that's a lot of the books that I read this year were a lot of thrillers. I mean, that was like really hot. That's what was hot in the streets. Let me know in the comment section below your favorite book that you've read this year and I will see you guys tomorrow.